All right, everybody, it's QBNA. It's a bye week edition. We're going to get to some fun stuff this week. But first, let's get to the football and the Pats preview. Derek, let me ask you health wise first. I know last week you said, if anything, the bye week was really good for you mentally. But how's the back doing? How are you feeling? Yeah, no, it's uh, it's really good. You know, I was able to, you know, relax, get off my feet, and uh, you know, really just take a take a break. You know, physically and mentally. So I, I feel I feel rocked and ready to go. Um, you know, I'm ready to, you know, finish the season off right. You're gonna be taking on a Patriots defense that you know, early this year gave up a lot of yardage, a lot of 300 yard games, but they have played very well over the last few. What have you seen from them that makes them so tough? Well, you know, their their scheme. You know, it's uh. You know, they're very well coached. You know, they, they understand uh, certain things that weren't going well for them. And uh, either they got it corrected or they changed. You know, they, uh, they, they, they're not just going to sit there and let, let certain things happen. So uh, very, very good football team. Uh, you know, and we're, we're looking forward to playing them. You know, this is a, it's a big game for us to get this second half of the season for us started off right. Did you catch any of the game on Sunday Night Live by chance? Yeah, absolutely. What's, yeah, I'm definitely, definitely tuned in. What's the difference of what you're seeing in a telecast and then what you're seeing in the film room? Well, you know, on TV, um, you know, there's a lot of noise, you know, you're hearing, hearing a lot of different, uh, you know, opinions, opinions, opinions of things and, uh, you know, what's actually going on. And then, you know, when you turn the, when you turn the film on, you can see the whole picture, you know, you get two views, you know, you get the, the sideline view and the end zone view. So, you know, you could see different techniques and different things like that. So, uh, when you watch it on TV, you're kind of getting a feel for what's going on. You can, uh, you know, you, you get a good uh, grip of what they're trying to do schematically versus the Broncos and things like that and vice versa, um, since that's our game, you know, after them. So, uh, you know, you get a good uh, feel for those kind of things. But at the end of the day, you know, there's nothing like getting it on film and, you know, just sitting there and studying it. You're going to be going up against the ageless wonder that would be Tom Brady. I know you don't go up against him directly, but what can you say about uh, 12? I mean, it's unbelievable, you know, and, uh, you know, he, he's come along, you know, at the at the perfect time, you know, in somebody's career, you know, the way that, you know, practices are and the way things are set up nowadays, you know, uh, you know, I think that anyone who takes care of their body feels like, man, I could, you know, really play this game forever. And, uh, you know, he and he's doing it, you know, he, he's and he's doing it at a high level, um, you know, and, and it's probably so fun for him because there's not a. There's not a look, <clears throat> there's not a coverage, there's not a there's not a throw versus certain coverage that he hasn't seen before. So it's probably just a lot of fun for him right now. I'm sure he's just, you know, enjoying the game, enjoying all the work that he's put in, you know, from the early years on. And, uh, you know, to be at one of the best, uh, you know, it's, it's no it's no surprise, it's no shock. As long as he's physically able to throw the football, uh, mentally he's going to be better every year, uh, you know, as he continues on. You know, that's just how this thing works. So, like I said, there's no look, there's no coverage, there's no blitz that he hasn't seen before. Uh, so he's probably having a lot of fun playing football right now. Well, the Patriots are staying in Colorado to get acclimated to the altitude before they go to Estadio Azteca. You guys played there, of course, last year. Is there anything you guys can do during the week to help prepare for something like a trip to Mexico in that altitude? You know, it's, it's pretty difficult, um, you know, because it, you can't you can't simulate it unless you're all the way up there, you know, uh, you know, actually staying there for the week. So, uh, you know, we do little things, you know, training wise and, you know, way we do certain things. But, uh, you know, you, you just do your best. You know, the main thing is I've learned is you got to hydrate. Um, you know, hydration is key, uh, you know, and that's that's for anybody going up to altitude, you know, and, uh, you know, any time that. Uh, you go in there dehydrated, you're, you're sure enough to get sick. So, you know, you got to go in really hydrated throughout the week, and uh, that's a good reminder for me that I better start on that now. Richard Sherman, Derek, uh, added to the list of just some some crazy injuries this year yeah. in the NFL, ruptured his Achilles, and it was on Thursday Night Football, and, and his teammates and Doug Baldwin, one of them just talked about those Thursday night games. You played in one this year. You played in them before. Are you a fan of them, or what's your stance there? Yeah, you know, it, it's one of those things that we're doing, you know, so it doesn't, you know, it doesn't bode well to complain about it or talk about it, you know, to be honest, because you just got to do it. Nobody cares at the end of the day, you know, how many days you had off, uh, you know, whether it's a bye week, whether it's 10 days, whether it's four days, you know, nobody cares. They just want to know if you win a lot, you know, did you win or did you lose? So, um, you know, as it sits right now, it's just one of those things we're dealing with. I, I don't know, um, you know, the perfect answer or the right thing to do there, to be completely honest with you, um, you know, and that's why. You know, people make those decisions above me. Uh, you know, I just know as a player, uh, it's really hard to get your body, uh, you know, physically ready to go. You know, there, you definitely feel some bumps and bruises, uh, you know, going into the game. So uh, I could definitely tell you the quality of the game 
um, isn't at, at the very best it could be, but still it's professional football. It's pretty high level. So, um, you know, we, we go out there and we do the best that we can on a short week and things like that. But, you know, at the same time, you know, it's, uh, it's just one of those things, man. You just got to go out and do it. No one will know the name Miko Grimes unless they're a hardcore Hard Knocks fan. She's the wife of Brent Grimes. And, and Derek, I've held off on many weeks to, to ask you this because, you know, as a journalist, I don't engage in hearsay or anything like that. But she made some comments on Monday, and you also had tweeted out something when she had mentioned the distrust with, with you and some of the players there. Was that a coincidence, or what was going on with you on Twitter? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, the, t the tweet was literally the verse of the day, you know, and people uh, like to have fun with that. It's 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 not, you know, my fault that it was a coincidence um, after someone had brought that to my knowledge. Um, you know, uh, you know, it just is what it is. But, um, to, you know, like I said, you know, in my in my press conference this, uh, earlier last week, um, you know, I don't really pay much attention to ignorance, um, you know, to call people out. And, uh, you know, to, to use names and name calling um, the way that a certain individual did and to call out a group of guys um, saying that they wouldn't give their best uh, at their job is pretty disrespectful. And, you know, you're basically going at their integrity. So, um, you know, in a, in a world that we're trying to promote peace and love and unity, um, you know, I think that that was the exact polar opposite of what, you know, we're trying to do. All right, let's switch things up a little bit. Derek, and talk about your brother, David. Those in the Central Valley certainly know your guys' relationship, uh, your story, and really there's been a couple features this year that's expanded that and let really more people across the country get to know. I want to play a clip from your press conference of your Jersey retirement at Fresno State, and I asked your brother, David, what's it like because now he's part of our side. He's a media guy and an analyst, and here's what he had to say about covering you. Well, it's hard because I don't, I don't want to sound biased. Um, but I, but I would be a Derek Carr fan even if he wasn't my brother, honestly. It would be probably the only jersey that I had. And I tell my wife all the time that I would never wear another man's jersey, ever. ever. This is probably the only one that I would wear, you know, and watch, and watch this guy play. And not because of, just because of what he does on the football field, because he does things on the football field that I'm envious of. Maybe because I kind of helped him do some of that stuff. That might be why I like it. But I think the, the biggest thing is how he carries himself off the field and how I see him with his teammates in the locker room and how he is with his boys and how he is with uh, people in our family that he doesn't really need to spend time with, but cousins and just random people that come up. And it's fantastic with those people. So that's why I'm a fan. That's why I'm a big supporter of what, what he's all about. But uh, yeah, you know, for me, I mean, just getting a chance to watch him live his dream, but then do it the correct way. That's that's pretty special. That's pretty much it means everything to me. So, Derek, that was what David had to say about you. I'm going to flip this. I'm going to ask you about his career, really emerging as an analyst for the NFL Network, doing a tremendous job. I mean, what's that like and that relationship still for you, too? You know, it's awesome, you know, and, uh, you know, I can still, you know, talk to him as my brother. Uh, you know, there, there's no doubt about that. He's not going to go, you know, air anything out there that shouldn't be out there. But, uh, you know, he, he, he does a fantastic job of telling you what's going on, uh, you know, breaking it down to you, but not picking anybody apart, not degrading anybody. And uh, I think that so much of our, uh, you know, so much of that kind of media, as you know, uh, as you've seen, you know, as uh, you know, we've probably even talked about, you know, we see it where people just pick people apart, you know, and, uh, you know, we, we forget that some of those people were in those same shoes just a little bit ago and didn't like it either. You know, some of the guys, some of the former players on there that are ripping people apart and things like that are, uh, you know, uh, are guys that used to hate when people would come at them. So uh, it's kind of like a, you know, one of those things like, you know, what are you doing kind of deal. Uh, but li like yourself, like my brother, uh, like more, m most of the people that are out there now, they, they just they're reporting what's going on. And uh, it's not so much opinionated. Um, uh, you know, you just basically try and give your facts and do the best that you can uh, at describing what's going on. You know, if it, if it's bad, hey, it's bad, you know, but you, you just tell him, hey, this is what's going on. And if he fixes this, you know, it can get a lot better. And I think that, you know, guys like yourself and guys like my brother do a really good job of, you know, uh, you know, saying, hey, it's not perfect right now, but this is how it can get better. And uh, you know, you're positive with your message. And I think that uh, not only with what he's doing, uh, you know, but I think in a lot of our media, if we can put a you know, positivity back into it. I think that, you know, uh, us as a nation, it would be a lot better. Derek, I know you can hear me. Can you see on a screen uh, what we've got going on right now, our feed? 
Uh, yeah, I can see you. Yeah. All right, so we're going to bring up uh, some post-game attire. I've done this before, and I'm going to bring it up again. <laughs> uh, I know you like it. Let's roll the tape. Uh, I know you like the hoodie there. This was probably early in the year, and I know there's another version of you with the sleeveless. That's okay. where you're most comfortable, is it not? No. Yes, yeah, sleeveless for sure. You know, sleeveless is the way to go. Honestly, the other hoodie that I had on is the one that I wear, you know, from my house. You know, the, the sleeveless one is the one I practice in and, what, you know, what I work out in. <laughs> Sun's out, guns out. All right, then you went through um, some of those shirt phases here. I've got uh, a few that I've put together. <laughs> what, what's going on here? <laughs> yes, yes. These are, uh, these are actually really nice shirts that I was given, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, for someone to spend, you know, that money on me, you know, I'm definitely going to wear them. Um, you know, and be respectful. Uh, but yeah, I uh, definitely like matching my shirts. And if you can see the shoes and the pants, you know, I like matching all that stuff together. <laughs> all right. And then there's one more left that I'm saving the best, what I think is last. And that was uh, the double breasted. Woo! There you go. Uh, what's is. going on here? What, what thought was into this? Because it was a great combo, man. Oh, you know, uh, I have to definitely give all the credit to my wife. Um, she won't let me leave the house unless I match at least, you know, and look kind of decent. So uh, she definitely said, hey, you should wear this this week. And I said, you know what? You're right. And, uh, you know, the more times that I say, yes, ma'am, the better off I am. <laughs> uh, best dressed on the team. Still Crabtree or no? Oh, Crab, you know, he yeah, he, he does a great job. Uh, Sean Smith does a great job also. Uh, you know, when we got a lot of guys or uh, some of these young guys are trying to compete with them. So we'll see. But as it stands now, it's definitely those two. All right, Derek. So impressed your thoughts. All right. Let's get to our fan question. Who wins uh, an autograph football from yourself? It's Morgan Bennett on Facebook says now that God blessed you with the talent to play football, which allowed you to make the kind of money that opens so many doors for you. What is your most desirable project that you and your family maybe want to accomplish personally and or community charitable uh, there, Derek? You know, it's hard to say. You know, there's a lot of things that I want to do. Um, there's a lot of things that I want to accomplish. And, uh, you know, I say it all the time that, you know, football is really fun. I really enjoy this. Um, and I thank God every day that I get to do, you know, what I dreamed of doing when I was little. Um, and I'm doing it, you know, four years in now. Uh, it's been it's been a lot of fun. And, you know, there's many more years to come. Uh, but I, I have more important things to do when I'm done. And so, uh, you know, I'm starting to do a little bit of that now. Uh, you know, we're able to, you know, without getting too much into it, we're able to help in certain countries and we're able to do certain things and, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, make a difference in places that aren't just here in America. Um, but at the same time, I try and live it out every day. Uh, I try and well, whenever I feel, you know, the calling on my heart, um, you know, in, in my daily life, I just try and make a difference. Um, you know, I try and love people unconditionally. Uh, I try and, uh, you know, su support them and serve them. Um, you know, I watched a, a great clip the other day of, uh, you know, and one of the things that stuck out in this uh, in this speech was he said, make sure your servant's towel is big. Um, if, if you want to be a true leader, make sure your servant's towel is big. So I think that in every community, um, if we look to serve, if we look, uh, you know, with eternity in mind, um, so to speak, uh, you know, I think that uh, we're more liable, uh, you know, to, to, to have uh, better communities and things like that. So that's the that's the now goal. But in the future, I definitely have big plans and I won't, I'm not going to share them yet because it's, a, it, you know, who knows when that time will come. But uh, I definitely I'll definitely let the you know uh, community in the city of Fresno know, uh, you know, what's going on. But I definitely definitely have big plans um, outside of football because I feel like there's more important things to do you know, outside of my football life. All right, Derek, we're going to end on a couple rapid-fire questions from the mailbag, the most popular ones, and then we'll get you out of here. The DC4 right. playlist in the car, what's playing right now? Playlist is for today. We got four today. Lecrae, uh, you know, uh, Hillsong, uh, you know, the, their music, and then Elevation Worship. I got Eddie James. Uh, you know, I, got, I, I can keep going on and on, but, yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely going on. You got other family members babysitting the boys. Date night with Heather. What are you guys doing? Oh, where are we going? Oh, man, probably to get a steak. I, I definitely, I love a good steak. So, uh, you know, wherever she'll, she'll let me go. And if, and if that all fails, I love going to Chipotle, In-N-Out, um, Chick-fil-A. But I can't eat all that all the time. So, yeah, she definitely, she's definitely cooking a lot. But if we can go out, we like to go out. What about one night in Fresno? Where are you guys eating and what? Oh, my goodness. In Fresno, Teriyaki Don, Deli Delicious. Um, you know, we got Secure, uh, is it Secure Chaya down there? I forget the names of them. Um, Jap Japanese kitchen, uh, Zinnia, uh, you know, I, I can go, 
I can go on and on. I tell people all the time that Fresno has some of the best food uh, out of any city that I've been in. So uh, I definitely much props to Fresno. Doghouse, can't forget Doghouse. <laughs> Favorite team to play against in college? Oh, Boise, because we beat them last. <laughs> definitely. And the dogs will have a chance to play them in their uh, season finale, in the regular season, that is. All right, Derek, appreciate the time. A little extra today, but thank you so much. Hey, four and five Raiders. We still have a very... Big game. Most of uh, Silver and Black will be awaiting that Mexico City game. So we will talk to you next week, D.C. All right. Thank you, Tommy.